Uh, joining us right now, live from Washington, D.C., is Senator John McCain. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. How are you? Fine. Thank you very much. Uh, Molly just touched on it. Uh, explain your position on Don't Ask, Don't Tell, why it's a bad idea for the administration to rescind that. It was a policy developed in the Clinton administration. Uh, General Colin Powell was uh, one of the major factors. Uh, it is working. We have the best trained, best equipped, most professional military in two wars. The, the, uh, I, t I spend a lot of time with the military, given my position on the Armed Services Committee and background. And the fact is that it is working. And the majority of members of the military find it to be working. And in the middle of two wars, to change a policy of this uh, sweeping nature, I think, would be a serious mistake. Uh, Senator, I saw you clapping with what I thought was particular relish last night when the president brought up earmarks. Let's play a little bit of what the president said and get you to respond. Tonight, I'm calling on Congress to publish all earmark requests on a single website before there's a vote so that the American people can see how their money is being spent. What do you think of that? <laughs> I, I think it's I think it's amusing. So we'll take care of the earmarks and the corruption by putting it on a website. What the president should have said is I'm going to veto any bill that comes over with these corrupting earmarks and pork barrel projects which have ballooned our deficit and uh, been soundly rejected by the American people and bred corruption. Mm -hmm. I mean that, that's I, I was almost entertained by it because the fact is that the earmarking on the bills last year were in the tens of thousands, uh, 9,000 on one bill, 5,000 on another, and uh, it, it, it's just, it's got to stop. We know it breeds corruption, mm -hmm. but most importantly, how can, can we continue to afford to expend taxpayers' dollars on irritable, irritable bowel syndrome? Uh, you kind of floored me on that. Uh, Maybe we need IBS, to. I prefer, yeah. It all depends I, on it, if you got that problem. It got me thinking it's somewhat off track. Uh, CBS did a poll last night, uh, Senator, and uh, they asked people, hey, what do you think of the president's proposals? 83% of the country said, hey, they sound good. Now, what about, uh, the, is President Obama going to be able to accomplish any of the goals he laid out? Uh, about half said yes, 42%. For the most part, with the president outline, was it pie in the sky or is some of this stuff doable? For example, health care. Can they bring it back? Can they get a Republican vote and push it through? Well, let me say a lot of the assistance for small business I support and is uh, and is overdue, and I'd love to see some of that done. I'm sure that we can. Look, uh, obviously the president missed the uh, or uh, or did not understand the message of the Massachusetts election. It was about a great candidate named Scott Brown, and it was about health care, and the American people overwhelmingly want to stop and go back to the beginning. When the president said, "If anybody's got an idea, etc., etc." We've been talking about medical malpractice reform, going across state lines for insurance policies, for a, treat, uh, a reward of wellness and fitness, mm -hmm. all kinds of proposals we have had which have been rejected out of hand by the Democrats and the White House. And so to say that there's nobody with a, if you know, if you got a better idea, we've been right. talking about it for months on the floor of the Senate. Medical malpractice reform can save hundreds of billions sure. of dollars. And, and, and Senator, uh, when the president uh, said, if anybody's got any good ideas, let me know. I, w I thought it was amusing because I thought about you because uh, just a day or so before we, we were uh, told that apparently he was going to unveil a, a uh, across-the-board spending freeze. Now, during the campaign, you were for the spending freeze. He told you that that was a dumb idea. Well, now, as it turns out, he was against it before he was for it. <laughs> that, that's true, but the interesting thing is that he's talking about a freeze in 2011 of some $15 billion that year that could be saved by his version of a spending freeze. This, and then immediately pivoted to another, quote, jobs bill, stimulus bill, $80 billion, $100 billion, whatever it is. And, I mean, it, 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 you just can't make it up. Let's talk about jobs and those in Arizona, which we know you know all uh, too well. That the company that the president talked about last night, this company in Arizona that got $100 million federal dollars and then created 15 jobs in 2009, 27 jobs in 2010. Tell us more about this. 
Well, we had not heard about it until his speech last night, so we're looking into it. But you, my understanding, the facts are, are basically yours. Look, we have now gotten to a position where there's a $40,000 debt for every man, woman, and child in America. And the spending is out of control. The Chinese own $850 billion of our notes. The, there's, I, look, the, the, we've got to get spending under control. Line item veto. Many other things are necessary. And Senator Evan Bay and I proposed a package a day before yesterday that should be implemented. We've got to get spending under control. All right. And before you go, Senator, what kind of a grade would you give the president on the speech last night? Well, the president always gives an eloquent speech, and I admire that and appreciate some of the proportions of his speech, particularly where small businesses is concerned, and try to do a better job right. on job creation. But uh, the, the substance of it, uh, frankly, I think shows that he really has not heard the message of right. Virginia, New Jersey, and Massachusetts. Well, he'll pay the price in the polls, and maybe in November, if that is indeed the case. Senator McCain, always great having you on. Have a great day. Thanks, Thank Senator. You. All right, now to